air-powered car for the low-key travelers. A car manufacturer in India named Tata is developing a concept car called the AirPod. Tata is notorious for creating the cheapest car on earth and is setting out to be a company with a consumer-friendly air-powered car. The AirPod is being built with the help of MDI, a Luxembourg-based company which has been pushing zero-pollution engines since the 90s. It is no longer the 90s. The idea of running a car on air could be said a hope of the romantic. If we could use air as fuel, wouldn't all the world's energy problems be resolved? Air is all around us. Air is non-polluting. Naturally, the idea is too good to be true. And as usual, it takes energy to make energy. Energy that has to be stored by squeezing the air tightly using a mechanical air compressor. Once the compressed air is released, it expands and expands. This expanding air can be used to drive the pistons that power an engine. The air pod will need to fill up the tank via an electric engine style charging station. So the air is not free. The air for an air pod will be cheaper than gas. Best of all, the air powered car is an environmentally friendly construct. In a congested and heavily populated land like that of India, a compact car is what is needed and it is great that they are thinking outside of the box to meet their geographical needs. Strangely, the air compressed engine came about in the mid 19th century. It is possible fuel is preferred in a less populated land because of the need for speed. An AirPod has a max speed of 43 miles per hour, not exactly satisfying a lead foot. But the mileage of an AirPod is an inexpensive 125 miles per tank. A brand new Tata AirPod is expected to hit the market in the future at $10,000. And it'll cost one dollar to fill the tank. Weird science. I am Ken Tron, and this has been the May 21st, 2013 Volt Report.